going on guys victor here from dexter outdoors i got this beautiful permit right here at the fillet table i'm going to show you guys how to fillet it up using our new dextreme eight inch flexible fillet blade comes with this sheath if you guys are interested in it i'm going to have it linked below for you guys so these fish are very similarly looking to a fish we have here in florida called a pompano though they don't taste the same and these fish get much much larger the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a cut right here by the tail and I'm going to follow that cut and outline my permit on the outside edge of his body. Just resting my knife on the permit's spine. Going all the way up into this head meat. You guys see that head meat extends pretty far into here, so don't miss that stuff. And then I can continue my outline, follow this soft part of the head meat as it allows me to go around this permit's pec fin along the rib cage and down to that fin right there now i'm going to continue separating the permit's flesh from its spine just like so you can take your time you don't have to rush just separate that flesh ever so slightly and just continue to do so until you get to the fish's backbone which is that bone that runs right along the center of this permit right here. Okay, we're gonna free up this head meat right here. So we have that head meat freed up. The biggest thing with filleting a permit is, is they have a really crazy set of pin bones and rib cage. You don't wanna try to go through it. You're gonna wanna try to go over it. So break through those pin bones right there. Now we gotta go over this permit's rib cage. This is all ribs right here. Okay, so here is the first side of our permit and I wanted to show you guys something. So this rib cage right here is where people really struggle with this fish. You really have to get your knife over it. Some people what they'll do is they'll bypass it and they'll actually make their cut go from here to here to here and it connects to that fin. So you would actually leave all this flesh attached. And as you can see right here, this is where that flesh would be. So this is the meat that's right over the rib cage. So if you don't mind sacrificing that and you want to make your fillet a little easier, you can bypass that. I wanted to show you guys the way where you get as much meat as possible off of this permit. Okay, we're going to make our head cut once again, and I'm going to follow the soft part of the head meat around this pec fin down to this fin right here. So I just went over those rib cages. I'm gonna rest my knife on this permit's spine and just continue along the edge, just outlining my fish. And when you get to this portion of the permit from the dorsal fin back, you don't wanna be on the very edge because this stuff right here is actually hard. I go in about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna make a tail cut right here. I'm gonna separate our, separate our head meat Okay, now I'm going to just continue to free up this permit's fillet from the spine. And just take your time. It's not a race. Everyone fillets at their own pace. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to work on the other side of this permit's backbone. Point the tip of my knife down to make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, we gotta break through those pin bones once again and on top of this permit's rib cage. Just like that. 
there's your second side of your permit and once again you guys see this area right here really try to work over the rib cage rather than go through it this is where most people struggle with big rib caged fish but let's take a look at our permit you can see the light shining through we didn't leave anything it's because we took our time everyone fillets at their own pace This is going to be a good dexter, I guess that fillet. What am I going to do with the permit? So since this is such a wide fish, it's going to be much easier to skin if we divide it into smaller sections and get rid of the bloodline. So permit have a pretty big and nasty bloodline. So what I like to do is take my knife and go on one side of it, okay, all the way through the skin. Same thing on the other side of it. Now this is what I like to get rid of on a permit. Real fibrous stuff in there and just a very kind of foul tasting bloodline we like to get rid of. And now we've divided our permit into two fillets which is gonna make it much easier to skin. So I'm gonna line my permit right here. I'll put the edge of the fillet table and we can skin our permit and I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of permit meat on the skin and I'll show you guys why in a second now permit for some reason has a very uh, a fibrous texture like filament along the edge of its skin so I left a very thin layer of meat and as well as it's got a pretty decent just bloodline that extends. So I just like to leave a little bit of meat on the skin. It's gonna give you a nicer final product. And here is our top loin of our permit. This is a very dense, firm, lean fish. Very easily overcooked. It's a very good baked or braised, cooked with some type of liquid, steamed, something that's not gonna dry this fish out. So I'm going to continue to do the exact same thing on the other side. If you guys are interested in the knife I used today, although this was not a scaly fish, this is our new Dextreme line of knives. It actually has a dual edge. So on this side, you guys saw me do all my precision work with today, but let's say I was filleting something like a snapper or grouper. This knife actually has a serrated edge on this side, which makes it perfect to cut through bones and scales and just anything that's kind of tough. So if you guys are interested in this knife, you can find it linked below or at DextreOutdoors.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.